wanted to take a moment this morning in welcoming you in once again unpacking our vision statement, which I say every week. We are, who we are, a community of Jews and Gentiles together discovering the Jewish context of the Bible. Because we are Jews and non-Jews, and both are equal in the sight of God. And we have one sole purpose here. Our main primary purpose is to discover the Jewish context of the Bible, the Word of God, the study of the Word of God, the preaching, the proclaiming of the Word, the hearing of the Word, that is our sole focus. Now, of course, alongside that, we also are here to worship the one true Messiah, the only provision God has made for us, for Jews, for Gentiles alike, and that is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus our Messiah. Shalom. I think Beth Sar Shalom Messianic Congregation is very important because it's a place where both Jews and Gentiles, people from a Jewish or non-Jewish background, can worship and learn about the Jewish Messiah. Because I began to understand biblically that God used the Jewish people to bring his word into the world and to bring his son into the world. It's who God created me to be. And again, tying this in with Beth Sar Shalom. Beth Sar Shalom is a place where I can be who I am. As um, interest in a Cory Ten Boom reenactment, and Joel being Jewish and me being Christian, it seemed like the the very thing to do. So we came to see that, liked it so well that we could come to a place that had Jewish and Christian and we could both have our needs filled and our study that we just loved it. And we've been coming That's how we got started and here and, and as Brenda says, it, it fills our need and it really uh, goes along with everything that we are because we're a uh, Still at this point, of, well, I guess we always will be a mixed uh, religion you know, couple. It, it just makes us both better. Okay, having something that that, um, that, speaks, that speaks to both of us. It spread a lot of conversation, much conversation, and enlightened both of our faiths <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So we we love it here. We just Absolutely. love it. celebrity, there's only uh, one God that we serve, and we're only here for one purpose, and that's to lift up our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Well, I, I've been in the music business for many, many years. I actually went to school for music, got out of music, and started a small company which turned into a large international company. It's an independent a and company, Asheville, with uh, Christian record labels. And one thing led into the next, and the next thing I knew, I never anticipated, expected this, but next thing I knew, I was booking, I had a booking agency that booked uh, the majority of the Messianic artists. So really, to answer that question, the, the, to me, the most important thing and the most exciting thing, thing about Best Star Shalom is the people. to head up a bar and bat mitzvah program. I've co-taught this course for a number of years with my good friend Ruth Wardell, who was a prominent figure in the Messianic movement for over 60 years. My goal is to help the student feel confident about who he is today as a Jewish person. Uh, the student will learn to uh, cite read he and his Torah portion and recite all the prayers. They will also learn a biblical timeline of the Old Testament and learn about Messianic prophecies. The third focus is cultural. The student will learn all about the Jewish holy days, the land of Israel, and about prominent Jewish events and Jewish people. I know it sounds like a lot, but we have more.
God is very much active in the life of Israel and the life of Jewish men. It's based on a biblical model of the first century church. Uh, and as a result of that, we see the growth that God is bringing uh, and it's now become a, a congregation of uh, Jews and Gentiles who are uh, gathered together to study and learn about the Jewish roots of the Christian faith. The Bible is the Jewish book. It was written by Jews originally to Jewish people. And I, as a westernized Gentile, appreciate the insight that a Jewish believer has in teaching me the words of the Bible. Not only that Gentiles could be saved, but that the means of Gentile salvation was exactly the same as that of Jews. Again, grace by, uh, by grace through faith. No works, no ritual, nothing. Buff gifts, nothing else involved. It's taken from Numbers chapter 8, verse 1, through chapter 12, verse 16. So we can summarize the overall message of Numbers like this. Big picture. As the gospel has particular relevance to the Jewish people, they have priority. Always have, always will. The first opportunity to accept or reject Yeshua always goes to the Jew first. Well, hello. We want to talk about what Beth Sar Shalom is all about. The thing I like about Beth Sar Shalom, Jesus-centered, it's Messiah-centered. As a Messianic congregation, Beth Sar Shalom, the house of the Prince of Peace, is where both Jewish people shipping of Jews and Gentiles together. The Jewishness of God's Word, that's critical for understanding the Bible. And it's also critical for applying the Bible. And not the Torah or, or other things. We, we concentrate on the Messiah. We center on the Messiah. Why this, our Shalom? Doing the work of the Great Commission, making disciples. Wonderful blessings that we're receiving through the Holy Spirit. At Beth Sar Shalom, we recognize that the believer's rule of life today. And it really brings you into the worship world place with God. It's not the Mosaic Law. It's not the Mosaic Covenant. But it's the law of Messiah, the law of spirit and life. The New Testament commands that we've been given to live a life that is truly pleasing in God's sight. So when we think about who we are, Beth Sarshalom, the house of the Prince of Peace. Are we really that different? 2,000 years later, from the groups that Paul spoke to, these communities of Gentiles and Jews who had not only discovered the Jewish context of the Bible, but now worship the Jewish Messiah. We stand on their shoulders. I'm a big fan of mixed groups of Jewish and Gentile believers because I see that's how it was done in the first century. And I believe Luke, if he could communicate with us today, he would say, keep going, just as these communities of faith kept going 2,000 years ago. Let's see what happens. My name is Lindsay Lederer and I go to Best Star Shalom. I'm on the worship team and I want to tell you a little bit about how we got started. Actually at that church we met a 90 year old woman, a Jewish woman, who had never known that she could be Jewish and still love Jesus at the same time. And so there we were able to pour into her and she accepted the Lord and 
She's now living life as a Jewish woman, but getting to serve Jesus, which is so awesome. And that's definitely what our church strives to do. And we needed a home. And once again, God provided us with a home at Willow Bend Church, which is such a blessing. And Steve Gare, the head of Sojourner Ministries, is our teaching pastor, and he gives us amazing lessons every single Saturday. I always learn so much from him. I'd like to personally invite you to Beth Sar Shalom, the house of the Prince of Peace. Whether you're Jewish, not Jewish, a committed believer in Yeshua, Jesus, uh, or merely curious, you can find peace through the Prince of Peace at Beth Sar Shalom. The Bible is a Jewish book. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation.